Hello and welcome to the first video on Chesington's recreation in Planet Coaster here on Chesington World Adventures Vlogs. So yes everyone we are going to be recreating the whole of Chesington World of Adventures here in Planet Coaster. As you can hear I've got the theme tune playing in the background. This is going to be one of the biggest projects I've ever done on Planet Coaster. And as you've already seen, the first video on the channel was the Dragon's Fury recreation. Uh, so that has been uploaded. You guys all loved that. So I've decided to turn this into a series of me making the Chesington World Adventures Resort in Planet Coaster. So as you can see here, I am already uh, jumping right in, adding in some scenery and some trees around the car park area. Uh, the pathway that I'm adding in now, that will be leading up to the entrance of the, the first entrance of the park, because there are two of them. Uh, one is the resort entrance, and this one is the other entrance that leads into Dragon's Fury. I'm adding in some speakers here to because uh, I'm going to add the Chesington theme tune into there, so I'm going to add that, so I'm putting them around so the guests in the park can hear the theme tune and feel like they're actually, or well, they will be there. So today, uh, for the first video, I'm just going to be working on the scenery, the pathways and the entrance. So yeah, we've got a lot to cover in this video. I have sped it up, it is on a time lapse, so we can fit it all in. This is about three hours of gameplay you're seeing here. It has been sped up. Because you, who would want to sit through three hours of adding trees? I thought, you know what, let's speed it up. Uh, so here with the poles, I'm adding in the Chesington World Adventures, uh, Britain's Wildest Adventures sign. So yeah, we're going to be doing a series of this on the channel. Uh, so every few days, we'll be up I'll be uploading a new video uh, of Planet Coaster. Uh, there will be other videos on the channel. Uh, next time there will be next video will be a Chesington collection video. So I'll be showing you what's in my collection. Uh, I don't I have a few pieces, some pin badges and lanyards. I don't have a lot, but. When we go to Chesington, I plan on getting some more stuff when it's open. So, yeah, we'll be doing vlogs when going to Chesington. We're doing a whole lot. Because if you can't go to Chesington, why shouldn't you not be able to experience it? You should be able to experience it. Even if you can't go, you should feel like you're there when you're watching someone else go. You should feel like you're with them. With their, you're, sorry, you're there with them. That's what I think video is all about when you go out to places that you need to bring the experience to life. So yeah, as you can see I'm adding in the Welcome to Britain's Wildest Adventure sign. I'm trying to find the uh, a planet uh, wall sign because Chesington's uh, logo is a planet. But sadly, I could not find one, so I decided to leave it out for the minute. I might come back to that in a later day and work on that. As you see here, I'm just adding in some pillars to the sign to give it a bit more, you know, uh, life and make it look nicer. So there's stuff in the park where you'll add stuff, and then you'll think, oh, should I go back to that? So later, I, you never know, I might go back to it. But I'm just adding in some of the fences around here. It's not going to be 100% accurate, because Planet Coaster, you can't do everything. It's, you can't get everything in the game. So I'm trying to do the best I can, to the best of my ability, and using all the skills I've gained from Planet Coaster. And I'm trying to put them all in this park because this is the first big big well this is the biggest theme park I've built in Planet Coaster so I'm hoping it all goes well 
I'm just adding in a few more rocks and trees, doing that hashtag rock work. So yeah, in this video I'm going to be doing some of the nature that I've told you, working on the pathways in the first ride of Dragon's Fury, and all around the that area of the park, and adding in the entrance and the ticket booths here. I also managed to add in the fast track area, just uh, outside of the entrance of the, to the park. I also add in the... Uh, crater of the crates toilet block just at the entrance that's where I am right now they'll be there in a minute that's what I'm moving I'm moving them back so I can fit them in I'm just about to get them there and I decided to change the color to try and match the wood and make it a bit more uh, like naturey you don't want that classic blue it's like So with this park, uh, I am going to be building not just all the current rides, I am going to be building some of the older rides as well, so say like the Gruffalo, I'm, I'm actually going to be building the Bubble Works there instead, because in my opinion I think Bubble Works was a way better ride, more people loved it than Gruffalo. But Gruffalo is an amazing ride, I, I will say that, but Bubble Works in my opinion was better, and more people liked it. But it was sad to see it go, but it's nice to see a new um, refurbishment. That happened a few years ago now, Bubble Works closed in 2016. So yeah, at the moment I've decided to do this Planet Coaster uh, series because we cannot go out to the theme parks due to the coronavirus. So I have decided to do this instead, just to keep you guys entertained whilst you're stuck at home. So as you can see, I'm just adding in the three entrances. I decided to do three, not to make it overly crowded because uh, in this entrance it's not as big as the other like main entrance on the other side of the park. So here I build a little shelter over the entrances. It was great to see on the last video yesterday that all you guys really enjoyed that. Uh, and you really enjoyed the Dragon's Fury ride and I did get a few comments from you so thank you all for commenting uh, some of you suggested doing some uh, different rides outside of the park one of you suggested doing an Ice Age ride and I thought that was pretty cool so I might go and give that a go but I have a whole list of things lined up to do uh, on this channel and I cannot wait until we can get out to theme parks and go experience them for the first time this year. Uh, the new rainforest area has opened at Chesington, which is great. I have not been there yet this year, but I am looking forward to going there later in the year if we can, if not yet next year. They have also uh, updated Vampire, that has got all the new theming in there. It looks a lot better than what it has done the past few years. Very glad they decided to do that. Uh, we have got a re-theme, which is Elmo's Flying Jumbos. El no, not Elmo's, Elmer's, sorry. Uh, flying Jumbos. Uh, that used to be the regular Flying Jumbos, but they decided to re-theme it and add a brand onto that. So that is now Elmer's. Uh, it looks very good, in my opinion. A lot better than what it did. It's situated where the carousel used to be, which is now the Adventure Tree Carousel. We have also lost two rides. We have lost the Black Buccaneer, but we will be getting hopefully a new swinging ship, if not some other pirate theme, because we are getting the Blue Barnacle. And also Ramesses Revenge has gone, sadly. Lots of people liked it, but it did have its fair share of breakdowns in the past uh, but we have there were plans of having a drop tower for 2021 this may happen uh, but due to the virus it could be postponed we don't know yet but we're just hoping that that will be there for next year and we can 
get it sooner. I am now going to leave you with a bit of music from one of the iconic rides, which is Bubbleworks. Uh, each week I will be playing a different ride for a couple of minutes. Uh, just while I add some of the theming into the park, because it's quite nice to just sit back and watch without worrying about listening to me chat. So yeah, I'm going to leave you with a bit, bit of bubble works, and uh, I'll be back to join you in a couple of minutes. Just you've just seen me build the fast track uh, building, which I have closed for the moment uh, until guests are allowed into the park, which will be near the end of the near uh, which will the park will be opened uh, once the park has been finished because uh, I don't want to be having guests just before the park's been opened because I want to do a big finale, a fireworks display and everything. 
Here I'm just adding the Q line for Dragon's Fury. As I've said, it's not going to be 100% accurate. Uh, I'm doing my own twist on things, but I'm trying to do the best I can for what we have in the game. And on each ride, as you can see there, speakers, I am going to be adding the ride's theme tune into that. So yeah, I've added in the, there's also the Nitrogen, Nitrogeny uh, building, which is the ice cream shop here at Chesington. I've added in the cue boards by the fast track. Just changing the workers' uniform at the minute, and I'm seeing if there's an easier way to uh, change their uniform to make it all the same colour, but I'll have to look into that a bit more. We, we are uh, shortly coming up to the end of the video. We've got a couple more minutes left. So I'm just going to say quickly, uh, if you uh, next time for the music, please leave a comment in the comments below of what Chesington ride you would like me to play next time in the next episode. The next episode will be going uh, up on Monday, so that will be next Monday. Uh, I've got a couple more videos uh, for you in the next few days, so uh, stay tuned for them. Uh, please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of those videos. Uh, it really helps me out and helps the channel out. We have already got two subscribers within the first day. So I'm very happy with that. But yeah, please feel free to subscribe. And also leave a like on the video. See, I'm just adding a bit more of the pathway before we uh, uh, finish off today. Next episode will be on starting the Wild Asia themed area and also finishing off the Land of the Dragons and adding in a little uh, pond thing a little pond around the back of Dragon's Fury just where Toadie's Cars used to be opposite Toadie's Cars there was that little pond so I'll add that in next episode and I also start on Wild Asia So I'm quickly just adding in some benches and some bins uh, and I'm also going to finish off the exit pathway. So this map really is just to show what my reimagined version of Chesington would be. So it's great to see, it's great to be able to recreate something that's like a memory to me. It's still there, but it's just something I really love, and it's just great to be a re uh, oh sorry, it's great to be able to recreate something that you like love so much, and it's just it's cool that you can recreate.